Hello everybody, my name is Chris, and welcome to Telltales, The Walking Dead. Now, this is the, uh, the definitive edition, the definitive collection, so it has every season of this entire game. Which I assume is very long. So, for this, this, uh, this Halloween season, I'm gonna try to do season one, right? Now... I, I'll be honest, I have not, and I know this is different, so I'm going to pr proceed with, I understand that there is a difference between this and the show. I have only seen the first episode of the show. <laughs> and that was back when it first aired. Way back when. Oh god, how long ago was that? That was over ten years ago. Oh my god. Sorry. So, I know it's all based on a comic. The, the the comic, The Walking Dead, right? And so, I don't know if this is more trying to be in line with that, or if it's a completely original story in the world of The Walking Dead. But either way, we're going to find out. And I, um... I'm digging, I'm digging the aesthetics. Very comic book shading, cell shading style. Very cool. Very into it. This has been incredibly uh, recommended by a lot of people. A lot of people. A lot of people. Not just recently, but it's been a lot recently. But in the past, too, this has been brought up. So we're finally doing it. So, strong, narrative-driven game with choices. And those choices, oh god, will determine certain outcomes in certain situations. So a lot of weight. But I'm excited. So let's get in. Oh, that's neat. Oh, there it is. The Walking Dead. How it all started. As the world ends. Lee Everett looks for redemption and fights to protect the young Clementine. Oh boy. All right, here we go. As you can see, we're playing this on PC, by the way, just as, just in case anyone is wondering. Yeah, if the mouse cursor wasn't obvious. <laughs> Whew, there it is, The Walking Dead. It's a, the definitive menu. It's the definitive menu. Oh. <laughs> That's funny. Okay, that makes sense. Are there any weird settings to change here? Okay, so got those adjusted. Everything is good. Let's get in. Oh boy. Choose a display style. Interesting. Standard. More help from the UI and feedback when you make important choices. Minimal. Turn off UI hints, help, and choice notification. Huh. Oh. Oh, wow, that is... Okay, so with the standard, you actually see the little things you can interact with. And it will actually tell you, like, Hey, this is the, this is the result of a choice you made. Then, minimal turns off all hints. Ah, uh, man. Bit of a real. I'm tempted to do standard just so... Just in case. But I also like the idea that we actually would not know. But I'd try to interact with everything anyway. Damn. But may, mm, maybe minimal? Minimal would... I don't know, because I'm trying to think, like, it... It's not exactly the same. But, like, when we played Detroit Become Human, you know, there was the choices and the results of those choices affected things i'm assuming this is going to kind of play out the same kind of way conceptually with certain choices i do like the idea that you know you would give feedback you would get feedback for your choices it's not like that would affect the way i would make decisions though that's fine standard <laughs> Unless you guys think minimal is better, then, you know, let me know. And 
I will totally switch it over. Episode one, a new day. Okay, well this doesn't look like, this doesn't look great. Here we go. Game series adapts the, to the choices you make. The story is tailored by how you play. Telltale Games presents. Skybound Entertainment. The Walking Dead. Episode 1, A New Day. Oh. Oh wow, that art style, that's very cool. What happened? Well, I reckon you didn't do it then. Oh, oh, we're already here. Okay. Why do you say that? You know what they say about reckoning. Does it really matter? Or say nothing? Uh, what Why do you, do say? you say that? You know, I've driven a bunch of fellas down to this prison. Lord knows how many. Usually it's about now I get the, I didn't do it. <laughs> Try to get out of it, yeah. And what do you say? Not from me. Every time? And what do you and say? And what do you say? I say, yep, I know you didn't. Yeah, I know you didn't. Oh. I followed your case a little bit. You being a making boy and all. You're from making then, so you got an opinion. What do you think? Oh. You're from making then. Yep. Came up to Atlanta to be a city cop in the 70s. Always wanted to work a murder case. Like that senatorial mess you got yourself mixed up in. With all due respect. What? A real shame, that is. Hell, the whole family used to be regulars at your folks' drugstore right in downtown. Still there? Sure is. Good. This is interesting. I got a nephew up at UGA. You teach there long? Going on my sixth year. You meet your wife in Athens? You want to know how I see it? Sure, not really. I got much choice. Sure. Sure. Regardless, oh. could be you just married the wrong woman. Could be I did. Or she married the wrong guy. What? I'm driving this man once. He, he was the worst one. He wouldn't stop going on about how he didn't do it. He was an older fellow, big soft eyes behind a pair of smart folk glasses. And he just wailing back there. Says it wasn't him. Crying and snotting all over right where you're sitting. Great. Then before long, he starts kicking the back of the seat like, like a fussy baby on an airplane. <laughs> Tell him he's got to stop. But that's government property and I'll be forced to zap him otherwise. So he stops, and having exhausted all his options, he starts crying out for his mama. Mama, it's all a big mistake. It wasn't me. Man, he was innocent? Maybe he was... Man. Man? <laughs> Not even close. They <laughs> caught the fucker red-handed, stabbing his wife, cutting her up as the boys came through the door. He sits in my car screaming bloody murder that it wasn't him. I think he actually believed it himself. Okay, that's concerning. It goes to show. People will up and go mad when they believe their life is over. I got another good one for you. This one's a little bit less depressing and a bit more hilarious if I do okay. say oh, so. Okay, oh shit. This Watch other out. time... Oh my god. Oh, 
shit. Dude, we straight up hit. We straight up killed some bugs. Oh. Oh no, it's. Never mind, it's worse. Officer? Oh shit. Broken? Thirsty. Ah! Fuck! My leg! Oh, yeah, that'll do. Yeah, I had a feeling about that. Get the cop, or get a shotgun. Uh, let's look at the cop. Hey! Hey, officer! Are you all right? I'm still cuffed back here. Shit. Officer? Oh, that doesn't look good. He wasn't ejected from the car. Nope. He's not moving. Nope. He must have the handcuff keys on him. I like that the that I was seeing if there's other lines if they if you keep checking the same thing. That's cool. He must have the handcuff keys on him. Uh, Why the hell did he have his gun out? Uh huh. Maybe it was tossed from the car during the wreck. Uh uh. Yeah, it doesn't, uh. Not so much. Oh, oh. <gasps> Kick the window. Uh, Kick it again. Uh, One more again. Uh, hell yeah. Let's go. Uh, Great. I gotta say, so far, so far, the voice acting is really good. Really I good. need to. Drag myself out that window. I need to drag myself out that window. Oh, that's right. So we move forward. Oof. There you go. Yeah, everything hurts. Ugh. What a hell of a start. Oh my god. I realized I think I think when I was clicking on some of the choices, it wasn't working, or I didn't do it fast enough. So I'm just gonna I'm gonna use the, the numbers now. Can I uh the officer's shotgun is over there. That's right it Why is. Why would he have needed that? Oh. Is that a shell? I feel that. We have a shotgun shell? Why would he have needed that? Oh, we could pick it up. Okay, I'm seeing. I could scroll through the options. Got it. It just said that, and I now realize. Uh. Looks empty. Well, we got that one It'll shell. Be easier to carry with these cuffs off. Okay, well, we'll come back for it, I guess. Okay. Officer. Oof. Yeah, I'll take the keys. Shit! Damn it! <laughs> Alright. Okay. Alright. I see what we're doing. Man, fuck. <gasps> Touche. Touche game. Oh, God, I hate to keep them in frame. Nope, nope, nope. Officer? Uh, God damn it, I knew it. Uh, 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 holy shit! Yep, get it, get it. Oh my god. What in the hell? What the fuck are you? That's about right. Get away from me! Uh, shotgun. 
Shit. Shit. Come on, man. Oh, God. Don't make me do this! Gonna make me do this, huh? Damn. Well, that's a terrifying situation to be suddenly thrown into. Man. Hello? Help! Go get someone! There's been a shooting! Oh, shit. Oh, God. Okay. All right. It's happening. It's all happening. Oh. oh shit, gotta go. Gotta go. Oh my god. There's so many all of a sudden. Oh man, okay. Okay. All right. At least there's a fence, so they're kind of stuck back there. Stressful beginning. Hello, anybody? Well, so this is right as it all happened, huh? I wonder if anybody's home. This is cool. No ladder. I'm not getting up there anyway. This leg, the way it is. It's kind of like a point and click. But, like, more? That's cool. Fill one of those teacups with some bourbon if I could. <laughs> That's funny. Help! Talk to the treehouse. Anybody up there? Interesting. Well, damn. I wonder if anybody's home. Guess we'll go knock on it, right? Well, can I? I don't know why I would. Somebody! Yell if you can hear me! Is there anywhere, is there anything I can look at here? Maybe I should just check inside the house through the glass door before wandering out into the neighborhood. I mean, I agree. I thoroughly believe that that is an excellent idea. Hobble a little bit faster. Knock, look. I wonder if anybody's home. Let's go see if we could peek through it. Hello? Anybody home? I need a little help. A little is an understatement. Coming oh. in. Don't shoot, okay? <laughs> yeah, please don't. Ah! Hello? I'm not an intruder. Or one of them. Uh. These people might need more help than I do. <laughs> yeah, that's about right. Oh, God. Damn it. Oh, this is a bad... This is a bad sign. Already. Okay. Well. I was gonna say... I should find the, the bathroom. Probably clean this leg up. Oh, look at that. A unicorn. That's great. Pool of blood. So it's not coffee. Oh, Jesus. 
See the handprints in that? Oh. Ow. That. That had to hurt. Oh. That was a fall. Drawer, cabinet. Ooh, a note. Uh, Marshalls. That's a Savannah area code. But that's the type of note you'd leave a babysitter. What's that beeping? Is that an answering machine? Hello. Okay. Can we take it? We should take it anyway. Cool. I mean, kind of at this point. I think now we're an intruder. <laughs> but... Is an answering machine. This place has been ransacked. Just about anything worthwhile is gone. Great. Damn it. All right. Oh yeah, I guess we can fill up a get a glass of water. Super thirsty. I'm not sure I would have drank what was in it. Maybe a. Fill it up in the sink there or something. That's cool. Just take it right off, right off the counter. Yeah, we are not doing well. Okay. Get that answering machine in a second. Furniture overturned, blood everywhere. Jesus. I agree. Kids paintings. God. There are here. three new messages. Yep. Kid lived here. This whole neighborhood is deserted. What the hell? Ugh, cable's out. I can only wonder why. <laughs> Alright, I'm coming, I'm coming. I'm coming. Okay. Maybe there's something on there. Right. Message one, left at 5.43 p.m. Hey, Sandra, this is Diana. We're still in Savannah. Uh, Ed had a little incident with some crazy guy near the hotel, so we had to get him back to the ER and have it checked out. Anyway, he's not feeling well enough to drive back tonight, so we're staying an extra day. Thanks so much for looking after Clementine, and I promise we'll be back in time before your spring break. Message okay. two. Left at so it was a babysitter. Oh my god, finally. I don't know if you tried to reach us. All, all the calls are getting dropped. They're not letting us leave and aren't telling us anything about Atlanta. Please, please, just leave the city and take Clementine with you back to Murrieta. I've, I've got to get back to the hospital. Please let me know that you're safe. Oh no. Message three. Left at 6.51 a.m. Clementine, baby, if you can hear this, call the police. That's 911. We love you. We love you. We love you. Yeah, that's fucking sad. Hello? You need to be quiet. What? Not a monster. Who is this? Are you okay? Uh... Hello? Did they get you? I I'm sorry. I'm here. She said be quiet. <laughs> I'm sorry. Uh... Are you okay? I'm okay. They tried to get me. But I'm hiding until my parents come home. Okay. What's your name? Where are your parents? How old are you? What's your name? What's your name? I'm Clementine. This is my house. Hi, Clementine. Oh. I'm Lee. Oh, shit. How old are you? Eight. And you're all alone? Yes. I don't know where anybody is. 
How old are you? I'm, uh, 37. Okay. <laughs> uh, I guess not, yeah, no one really ever thinks to ask the adults how old they are. Where are your parents? They took a trip and left me with Sandra. They're in Savannah, I think, where the boats are. I love the pacing, because that is totally something that I could see doing, too. Are you safe? I'm outside in my treehouse. They can't get in. That's smart. Very. See? Can you see me? I can see you through the window. Oh, you were the... <laughs> oh my god. What the hell? Kill, 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 kill. Oh my god. E. Oh god, I didn't think there was going to be quick time events. Oh. God. Oh, this is... That, that leg is, like, not the worst problem we have. Oh my god. Get it, get it, get it. Go, 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 go. Get it. Okay. I'll take it. Oh. Just in case. One more. That's brutal. Oh my god. Okay. Man. Is that Sandra? Hi there. Oh. Oh. Did you kill it? It. Uh. Uh, yes, I don't know. I think so. I don't know. I think so. Sometimes they come back. Have you killed one? No, but they get shot a lot. You've been all by yourself through this? Yeah, I want my parents to come home now. I think that might be a little while, you know? Oh. Look, I don't know what happened, but I'll look after you until then. That's wholesome. What should we do now? Look for help before it gets dark and get out of here once the sun goes down. Ooh. Uh. Shit. Look for help before it gets dark. Get out of here once the sun goes down. Look for help. We need to find help before it gets dark. Yeah, it's not safe at night. Yeah. Let's go. Stay close to me. I don't know if night would be safer. This is not like it stops them. I don't know. Okay. Well, shit. Here we go. Oh god. Alright. There's the gate. Oh. Okay, we're going this way. Oh, people! Oh, man. That are not infected. I ain't never getting home to mama at this rate. This sucks. Oh, it's hot dish night. It's hot dish night. What's the matter? Should I stay? What? I don't want to sleep in the treehouse tonight, but I don't know if I should leave. What if my parents come home? I won't leave you alone. They won't. Let's go. <laughs> I won't leave you alone. Well, let's go somewhere safe that's close, okay? That's a good idea. Oh boy. Hey, man! Holy shit! Don't eat us! We're not gonna hurt you. Yeah. Thought for a second you and the little one were both gonna give us the chomp. The chomp? What are you doing? What's going on? We're looking for help. We need help. Are you trying to get out of here? Because you should be. Those things are all over the damn place. I haven't seen anything as gnarly as this neighborhood since downtown Atlanta, 15 miles back. I'm Sean. Sean Green. Lee. 
This is Clementine. I'm Chet. We shouldn't be out in the open like this. How about you help us clear the way, and we'll take you and your daughter out of here and down to my family's farm. It should be safer there. I'm not a dad. Um. Her babysitter, a neighbor, just some guy. A neighbor. Her parents are out of town. Let's get going. Staying put for too long is a mistake. Oh, yeah. What do you want to do? I... Yeah, monsters come out. We gotta go. Oh, God. These choices are happening, and I don't know the outcomes enough to... Oh, God. I'm just trying to do the right thing. All right, come on. One more time. There you go, Clementine. Get in there. One more. Or enough to get the truck through. Good enough. Let's go. Read those guys, neighbors too. Uh. And I, I definitely do feel that maybe honesty is the key to success here, but. Okay. Well, it's nice we found a couple of pretty seemingly nice people. Okay. Oh. Well, look at that. Hey, Sean. I'm gonna run on home. My mama's gonna be in a snit. No sweat, man. I'll catch you tomorrow night. Sean it and Chet. It was nice to meet you both. That seems nice. I mean, Sean seems nice too, but we'll see. Thank God you're okay. I was worried it'd be bad here too. Been quiet as usual the past couple days. Old Brecken down the way thinks his mare's gone lame, but that ain't nothing new. I wouldn't have made it back without Chet. Well, I'm glad you took him with you then. You've brought a couple guests. Yep. Your boy's a lifesaver. We need a place to stay. We just need some help. Your boy's a lifesaver. Glad he could be a help to somebody. So it's just you and your daughter then? Oh, not his daughter. He was her neighbor. Honey, do you know this man? Yes. Oh. Okay then. Well, looks like you hurt your leg pretty bad there. Uh, yeah, it's not doing so good. I can help you out. Sean, run on in and check on your sister. You take a seat up on the porch and I'll go see what I have. Man, this neighbor thing is going to keep coming up, isn't it? Yikes. Let's have a look. Yeah, this is swollen to hell. Hurts like hell. It's not too bad. Could be worse. It hurts like hell. I bet it does. What did you say your name was? It's Lee, doesn't matter, I didn't. It's Lee. Nice to meet you, Lee. I'm Herschel Green. Nice to meet you, Herschel. How'd this happen? Father of Sean. I fell, car accident, jumping a fence. Jumping a fence? Running from something? Just like everybody else. Oh, God. What type of danger has the girl seen? Plenty, who knows, she's safe now, nothing bad. Uh, who? She's safe now. You're serious about taking care of her then? What choice is there? House is full up with mine. We got another displaced family of three sleeping in the barn. You and your daughter are welcome to rest there when we're done here. I didn't catch your name, darling. Clem... Clementine. Can't imagine what you've been through, Clementine. Um, looking after her until we uh, find her parents. Hey, Dad. So I'm thinking... First thing tomorrow, we gotta reinforce the fence around the farm. That doesn't seem necessary. I don't know what you saw on TV or heard on the radio, but there's some serious shit hitting the fan. I don't think anyone knows how big it is yet. Your son is right. 
Your son's right. You're gonna want to fortify this place. Stuff like that doesn't happen around here, Sean. Dad, I'm serious. Lee, come on. Tell him what you saw out there, man. Man got run over, dead cop crawling on the ground, dead people walking. I saw a cop come back from the dead. Well, do what you think you should. We got plenty of chores as it is. Lee and those folks in the barn can help out in the morning. We gotta do it. Really. I already said okay. Well, I'm all done here. It should start to feel better tomorrow. Thanks. Great. And if your leg gets hot or the swelling doesn't go down, you're probably dealing with an infection. What do we do then? We'll probably just have to shoot you. Um, <laughs> what? We'll clean it, redress it, and you'll be fine. That's funny. Okay, that'd be preferable. There's blankets and such in the barn. We'll be seeing you bright and early. Got right tomorrow, there. which way you think you're headed? Towards Macon, I suppose. Towards oh, Macon. Macon. Alright, we gotta have a sit down and talk with this Clementine girl. And It smells like... <laughs> Maneuver, shit, you know. <laughs> shit. <gasps> I'm sorry, I shouldn't talk like that. That was a swear. <laughs> God damn it. I, I that was my mom and dad. I bet, Clem. How far is Savannah? Pretty far. Oh, okay. Damn. This is rough. I love you, baby. <laughs> Yikes. Situation he got arrested for that we don't know anything about. Hey, get up. Oh, hello. Mm. Oh, I'm itchy. Well, you slept in a barn, little lady. Lucky you don't have spiders in your hair. <gasps> but I bet your daddy scared them all away, huh? I'm uh, not her dad. Name's Lee. I'm Kenny. Dad, we're in the middle of fence. There's a tractor and everything. We better get going, or we won't hear the end of it. That's my boy, Ken Jr. We call him Duck, though. Duck. Dodging or quacking? That's Dodging or quacking? Quacking. Dad! See? See? The word is you were on your way to Macon. <laughs> our family's from there. Well, Macon's on the way, and personally, I'd appreciate the company of a guy who can knock a couple of heads together if he has to. Sure, we'll tag along. Maybe let's see how things turn out. I'll ask I'll the see girl. What the girl would like. Ah, gotta consult the missus. I understand. Honey, Duck, this is Lee. And uh, what's the girl's name? Clementine. Clementine. That is a very pretty name. Thanks. Well, we should get to work. We've all seen what those things can do out there, so the faster we get this fence up, the better. I wanna build a fence. Yeah? Well, I need a good foreman. You can sit on the tractor and yell at me whenever I take a water break. On the tractor? Cool! Duck and I will hop to it. Duck. I can keep an eye on your little girl here on the porch. We can visit. Okay. Sure. I don't feel any reason to feel weird about that. Cut. Katya? You have such Hey there, girls. And you two actually look related. Relax <laughs> related. Damn it. Why did I say it? You two actually look relaxed. What do you do? How is the city? You two actually look relaxed. I think we're doing just fine. Clementine was just telling me about first grade. Oh, uh, how is that? It's easy. Well, yeah. <laughs> so, you're good? Anyway, it's almost like we didn't see people eating each other for the past three days. It's peaceful here, no? It's weird when you say it out loud like that. So, uh, what do you do when corpses aren't walking around? 
I'm a veterinarian back in Fort Lauderdale. Like Herschel here, except more with dogs and cats and uh, not horses. What is it that you do, Lee? I used to teach up at the University of Georgia. We need to hope that we can go back to our jobs soon, Lee. Back to normal. It can't stay like this. No, I used to. No, I used to. I was let go a little while back. Well, that's too bad. Well, I hear people always clamor back to college after a big disaster. People don't want to die ignorant, I guess. Oh, uh, she knows we were fired, <laughs> and we learned that Clementine was a first grader. Uh, she's clearly way too smart for first grade. But, uh, interesting. It's, hmm. Yeah, she's like, you can't stay like this forever. And I'm just like, there are, there are so many seasons. <laughs> yeah. It'll go away anytime. How did you handle getting through the city? Kenny just drove. We passed so many people that needed help, and we just passed people over some. Just, just. Uh, it's okay. It's fine. You don't have to say anymore. I want to go home tomorrow, but even then I can't take away the things we, the things Doc went through. Don't you want to go back to the moment before you knew about all of this? Uh, who wouldn't? Things happen for a reason. Anybody in their right mind would. Families and barbecues and beers with good friends. All of those things. Those are the things we live for, right? With those gone, what's the point? Back in a bit. Okay, Lee. Damn. You having a nice time with Katya Clementine? Yeah. Yeah. I love it. The writing so far, you know what? This is pretty good. It's pretty great, actually. It's so genuine, so natural feeling. It's not the most reliable pickup in the world, but it gets the job done. That's right. It's no, it's no Ford. Hey there, uh, Kenny. Need any help? How's your son doing? What's your plan? Need any help? No, I think I got it. Do you need any help? What do you mean? Well, I mean in taking care of that little girl. You know what you're doing? You got kids of your own? No kids? I'm okay. I have no idea. I have no idea what I'm doing. At least you're honest. Shit. Better than I was when Duck showed up. You'll figure it out. How's your son doing? How's your son doing? Good, I think. Kachi's got a sister up in Memphis. We were coming back from visiting her. We were in a gas station and some guy grabbed my boy. I thought he was kidnapping him. I was on the fucker in about two seconds and... Christ. Just lucky I was there. We saw a lot of bodies before we stumbled upon Herschel's. But we're a tough family, Lee. Ain't nothing gonna phase us. Hell yeah, brother. So what's your family's plan? Get back on down to Lauderdale and let this mess get sorted out. Government will start handing out shots and the National Guard will do its thing. On the odd chance things got too bad, we could hop on my boat, I guess. You've got a boat. I'm a commercial fisherman, catching mackerel, dolphin, whatever's biting and paying. Katya wouldn't be wild about it, but the boat's not that bad. See you. Yeah, he's got... He's pretty, doing pretty good for himself. Kicks bass. That's funny. Like Toho. So, yeah, I mean, living on a boat, that would probably be, like, the safest, right? Because it couldn't, it couldn't even get to you. Cool. It's actually a piece of shit, but Hall's all right. <laughs> uh, that's funny. All right, what else? What else can we do? This is so cool. I didn't expect it to actually be like a like a walking around thing. Honestly, I was I was expecting it to be like more of a novel. But that's just because I didn't do any research into this game at all. You know how to drive it? Sure don't. 
I can give you a hell of a critique of the U.S. Farm Bill, though. I'm good. How are these things to drive? Awesome! Pain in the ass, mostly. Big, <laughs> heavy as hell, and slower than, uh... Slower than, uh... <laughs> Just waving at each other. He's having a great time up there. He's living his best life. How you doing, Doug? Good! I'm gonna drive the tractor! I'm the foreman! Lift with your back, Sean! Hey, you tell him. How you doing, Doug? Good! I'm gonna drive the tractor! I'm the foreman! Lift with your back, Sean! Sean's still working on that fence. Yes, he is. Sean's still working on that fence. Hey, Lee. Need a hand? Need a hand? That'd be great. If you could cut those two bites to length, that sure speed things up. Okay. Hell yeah. My dad doesn't know how bad it is. No, he doesn't. I saw a guy in Atlanta kill a kid. A boy. Just shot him right in the face. Jesus. Damn. No oh, shit, damn. He didn't even hesitate. He just turned, put the barrel of the gun right between the kid's eyes, and pulled the trigger. You don't see things like that. It's not like in the movies. They don't fall like you think. Did you have to do it? Do what? Kill. Have you had to off one yet? Oh, uh... I had to shoot one. I bashed a pro... I had to shoot one. I could shoot one. Maybe. If it were far away. I'm just glad we're getting this fence built. Dad just wants to keep the family safe and thinks inviting people in is a bigger threat than whatever's out there. How about yours? How's your family? <sighs> parents are in Macon with my brother. I don't know where my ex-wife is. My brother and parents are in Macon. I hope. Oh man, I hope so too. Maybe it's not too bad there. I would hope not. That's probably all I need cut for now. Thanks. Nice. We're helpful. And Sean, thanks again for the ride. No problem, Lee. Couldn't leave you behind. Anyway, when you see my dad around, he might want some help in the barn. All right. What a nice guy. Hey, Lee. Oh. Uh, Still need a hand? I'm good. Maybe go check on my dad in the barn? Okay. Do you, uh, think this thing will keep him out? Not yet. I'm planning on coming back through on a fortification pass, if you will. We'll lock this place up good. Respectable. Oh, man. When we told him about having to shoot one, and it said, like, oh, he'll remember that, it's like, okay. I don't know if that's a good or a bad thing. It's not yet. Oh, all right. Probably can't go inside. Nope, not yet. Okay, I will check with him. Let's see what's going on. Love Herschel. You should know that if you weren't leaving with Kenny today, I wouldn't stand for your lack of honesty last night. I'm not sure I follow. How'd you get out of Atlanta? On foot. I got a ride. I was on my way out anyway. Oh, shit. I got a ride and then I was in a wreck. I walked until your boy found me. Hmm. Well, you're no worse for wear. Uh, this farm's a nice plot of land. Huh. Had you told me 20 years ago I'd still be doing this, I would have told you that you were full of crap. Never was a plan, having a place like this. It was in the family, and I guess so was I. Family's important. It's all that matters. You agree with that? Was brought up to, yes. Where's your family now? Parents? Wife? Girlfriend? Oh, my parents are in Macon, my wife and... Uh... My parents are in Macon with my brother. Well, I hope they're all right. But now you've got this little girl to take care of. Clementine, is it? You just stumbled up on her? 
I was looking for help in her house. I was being attacked and she came to my rescue. Yeah. <laughs> I was looking for help in her house. Hmm. Can I give you a piece of advice? Oh, God. Sure, what is it, Manja? Sure. Sure. I don't know who you are or what you did. Let's say things don't get better back in the cities, or they get worse before they do. You're going to have to depend on the honesty of strangers if you're going to make it. And if those same people get to questioning yours, you're going to be in trouble. But at least you have the common sense to listen to a man giving you advice. Oh my god. Go! I'll get my gun. What? That is a s No. Oh. Oh my god. No. Oh shit. Oh god damn it. Why would that be a choice? Oh, I hate it. Oh. oh no. I got you. Now go. Get this tractor off of me. Please help me, please. Yeah, yeah, I'm, I, I want to. Shit. Oh. Get out. Get the fuck out of here! Sorry. Sorry? Your son is alive. You don't get to be sorry. And you, you didn't even try to help. Sorry, I panicked. I was worried about the little boy. I was worried about the boy. But you weren't worried about that. Please, just go. Get out and never come back. Oh, God. Got that ride to making if you want it. Oh, that fucking sucks. I wanted to help both. I thought the kid was gonna be quicker. That was the quietest. Well, this Drive. is as far as we're going. Then it's far enough. <sighs> well, I mean, at least we're together. Look! Oh, shit. Hey there! You friendly? Trucks run out of gas. Oh. Fuck! Yep. Oh god, they're every. Mm. Oh my god. Okay. Okay, nothing happened. I mean, trauma. Run! Holy shit! There are actually people here. Oh, that's that's smart. They don't they they we wouldn't know the combination. Like and we can't just let people die either. When I say that door stays shut no matter what, I fucking mean it. We don't know who these people are. They could be dangerous. Worse, they could have let them right to us. Where the hell is your humanity? They would have died out there. We have kids with us. I see one little girl. 
What is it? I I have to pee. I'd go out there in a minute. In a Just second. go. I bet you would. Ah, oh, goddamn it! Dumb, careless kid. I would too. Then just go. They've got kids, Lily. Those things outside don't care. Maybe you should go join them then. You'll have something in common. God damn it, Lily! You yeah, have to control not these wrong. people. She's the leader. Carly and Glenn just ran out there. I don't give a flying fuck. Oh We're god, in a war zone. She's not wrong. They took a risk. Yes, we did. And we appreciate it. Now let's settle down. Holy shit. Son of a bitch. One of them is bitten. He wasn't bitten. He wasn't bitten. Hell, he wasn't. We have to end this now. Over my dead body, we'll dig one hole. No, I'm cleaning him up. There's no bite. He's fine. Don't you fucking people get it? We've already seen this happen. We let someone with a bite stay in, and we all end up bitten. Shut up. We gotta throw him out, or smash his head in. Kenny, stop him! Hey, what do we do about this guy? There's no bite. Dad, he's, it's he's, just a boy. It's him or Duck reason it, it, Lily, his... I'll handle this. But your heart, Dad. You need to calm down. We reason with him. With the bloody end of an axe handle, maybe. Nobody threatens my boy. Everyone, chill the fuck out! Nobody is doing anything. Shut up, Lily. Oh and my you, god, why is this happening? Up. They will find us, and they will get in here, and none of this will fucking matter. But right now, we're about to be trapped in here with one of those things. What the hell are you talking about? He's bitten! That's how you turn! He's not bitten. Lee, stop this. It's upsetting him. Oh, I'm upsetting him. It's his son, if it was your girl. getting eaten alive. Dad, we oh. get it. God it's a damn big it. Deal. Do you? You're not fucking acting like it. Sit down. Pull back seat. You're gonna whoop me? <laughs> you and what homo parade? This one. <laughs> That's good. Little boy, before you eat your mommy, you can watch your dad get his nose broken. I'm gonna kill him, cat. Just worry about duck. Lee. Yeah? There's someone in there. It's just locked. Keys behind the counter. Probably. Hey, Probably. I'm not the bad guy here. I'm just looking out for my daughter. No, you're just the guy arguing for killing a kid. He's covered in muck. She'll find the bite. Watch. She won't. And if she does, the first thing he'll do is sink his teeth into his mom's face. Then, Jesus. when she's dead, he'll probably He's just a boy. On Deal your with little it. girl. She'll turn fast. We do what you say. And then, there'll be three. <sighs> and that boy is the ball game. Then we deal with it then. But right now, we're just freaking everybody out. Then get ready to deal with it, because that boy is bit. It's not gonna happen. It is. And we're tossing him out now. Uh, no. Hit him, Kenny. No. Oh, sorry, Kenny. You're right. Knock this guy out. Happily. Jesus. Oh, man. Oh. Okay. Oh, my God. Jesus! I blame him. He didn't even. Oh, come on, Lee. Come on, man. Get away from her, you son of a bitch! Uh, uh, go, 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 go. Oh my god, so much. He's so strong. Man. Thank you, whoever that was. You okay? Just great, thanks. How long has he been in there? Uh, guys? Oh my god. Okay. All right. Down. Stay quiet. Wow. Oh yeah, the gunshot. Right is that the military? Right? Like, hello? Thank God for whatever it is. We almost died because of this bitch and a Richie trigger finger. That was stupid. That was. Uh, uh, Dad. Shut up. We got problems with everyone in this room. What's wrong with him? Was he the one bitten? What's wrong with him? It's his heart. My pills. Um, nitroglycerin pills? Yes, we're out. We've been trying to get into the pharmacy since we got here. Please try to get in there. 
behind the counter where the pills are. Through the office, we'll do it somehow. Looking for... There's probably another entrance. Maybe through the office. How do you know that's an office? Uh, educated guess. It doesn't matter. We need nitroglycerin pills. Please get in there. I'll keep an eye on my dad. Everyone else should get comfy and look for anything useful. We could be in here a while. I'm starting to think this drugstore isn't a permanent solution. You're right. This ain't exactly Fort Knox. What do you suggest? We need as much gas as possible so we can all get out of downtown Macon. Fast. Agreed. Then I'll head out and get gas. There's a motel not too far from here, out towards the end of Peachtree. I'll work my way towards it and then loop back, siphoning what I can. Okay, cool. You're insane. That'd be great. Know your way around town? You know your way around? Local? Born and raised. If you're gonna do that, here's a walkie-talkie if you get in a tight spot. Hopefully, you won't need it. Cool. Clementine's got the other one. Check in with her and get back here nice. as soon as you can. And you? What's your name? It's Lily. My dad's Larry. Keep a good eye on him. These boys will work on getting you your medicine. That's right. And you? You keep an eye on that front door. You're our lookout. It's Doug. You got it. Okay, and Doug. I'm Carly. Okay, Carly. Carly. You'll shift in with Doug when he needs it. For now, get some rest. You're a good shot, and I'd like to keep it that way. You got it, boss. Now get him those pills. Holy shit. <laughs> what a fucking... Oh my god. Okay, this has been insane. So we're gonna pick this up on the next episode. Because this... This is a hell of a game. Oh my god, this is so much different than I thought it would be. The writing is actually really good. And the choices they come up and that that little bar goes so fast and then oh man making the choices quick enough but also like the right one for the situation and also trying to plan for the future if like is this gonna fuck is this gonna screw us over now or later down the road all that but it's cool it's cool i love it this is actually really this is pretty great uh god so let me know what you guys think in the comments Thank you everybody so much for watching. We got more The Walking Dead to do. So look forward to that. <laughs> and see you guys in the next video. Bye bye.